Color plays an important role in Photoshop. We use color to make aesthetic choices about our photographs and designs. We also use color to create effects, format images for various outputs, and to determine what is possible with our finished product. Our next lecture is all about color. We'll review the concepts of color mode, color profiles, and color spaces that were covered in Lesson 1 by further explaining their role in the production of visual art for various printed and digital outputs. We'll talk about specific ways to select color when editing images like color pickers, the color panel, the swatches panel, and various eyedropper tools. We'll wrap up our lecture by talking about channels and how they can be used to create spot colors. Let's start by talking about how color is defined and displayed on a computer. Color is defined in a variety of ways in Photoshop and other graphic art software programs. We've talked about color space, color profiles, and color mode so far this semester. It is important to know what they are and why we use them so that we are making good decisions when preparing artwork. If these terms feel foreign to you right now, it would be a good idea to revisit Lesson 1. Understanding color space, color profiles, and color modes is essential for all Photoshop users. Color space defines the theoretical possibility of colors we can work within. We don't have to use all of them, but choosing a color space defines what is possible. Choosing the wrong color space can limit what we are able to see color-wise in Photoshop. For example, editing an image in CMYK color space eliminates the possibility of creating colors that are outside the CMYK color gamut. This is okay if our final output is going to be CMYK based, but what if we decide to publish it on a display device? My displayed image will be shown in RGB, which has a larger color gamut than CMYK. So I've essentially tied my hands because I've already limited the colors to CMYK and I can't work with any of the colors that would be available in RGB. A color profile is a predetermination of the color space you want to work within. In Photoshop, we can assign specific color profiles for various color modes and output types. For example, we can tell Photoshop we prefer to work in Adobe RGB instead of sRGB when working with RGB color mode. Both are considered RGB color mode, but the Adobe RGB color space is larger than the sRGB color space. Photoshop will automatically expand or contract the color space available to us when editing based on the color gamut of our chosen RGB profile. A color mode is a document-specific determination of color space. Photoshop has several color modes to choose from, including CMYK, RGB, Duotone, etc. Each limits the color gamut available for use. Color profiles can be used to refine color mode choices, like in our sRGB versus Adobe RGB example.